Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Champagne. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. Please consider hitting that subscribe button and become a member of our family. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I truly appreciate each and every one of you as you follow along on my journey with me. Today, I'm gonna to be doing my savings challenges. Um, I do have my leftover or rollover money from my cash envelopes from this last week um, in here as well. I will be doing challenges for debt payoff, my emergency fund, my three to six month fund, um, as well as vacations and things like that. So we're going to first start off with my debt payoff. And so what I'm using right now to kind of help me al along and keep track is the penny challenge. And so I've started from the back. I'm going to work my way up only because, you know, the the back has higher numbers. So we're going to do $23. So we'll color this one. I hope everybody's having an amazing day and everybody's staying safe and healthy. Um, so that's 22 and 23. I'm just going to leave that right there. And then we're also doing the 5K challenge from Simple Shops. Um, and I've already put an 80 for this box right here. So we're gonna put 80 and then we can actually close off, where's my pen? We can close off this box here. Um, so, so we have 50, 60, 70, and 80. Um, and then we can actually mark this off. So going towards debt this week, let me just get this money situated. So we have 50, 70, 90, 100, 2, and 3. So $103 I will be putting towards uh, debt this week. So I'm just going to put that in there. That just reminds me, um, lets me know how much is actually going towards debt. Um, if you're new to my channel, you'll notice that this is prop money and of course towards the end I'll have my actual cash, um, but I do transfer all my money over to a high yield savings account on Ally. I like my money to make me money and so I prefer instead of my cash sitting in my envelopes, it sits in there and just collects interest every month. Um, but this money will is already in my account and so I will transfer it over to my debt. So that is that for this one. So I'm just gonna set that one aside. And then moving into my Be Positive binder. Um, I got this binder from Budget With Free here on YouTube. Definitely head over, check out her channel. Um, but her Etsy shop is crafted by free. And so I asked her, I sent her a picture of something that I liked and then this is what she created. Um, so going into here, we're going to go into the 52 week challenge. I am doing the 52 week doubled. So by the end of this challenge, I would have saved $2,756. This is going towards my three to six month emergency fund. Um, so today we're going to be putting in $14. And then I will mark off that. So in here, we should have a total of $56, um, but we're also going to do the $15 for our 1530 year long challenge. I got this from Reinventing Renee. Um, and so every 15th and 30th of the month, that's how much you put aside. And by the end of the year, once this is done, you will have saved $540. So between this challenge and this challenge, my goal is to save up one month rent and then finish off my two months of all my bills. Um, so we have our 14 that we've already set aside and then we have 15 from this challenge. So we'll mark off the 15. And then in total going towards this envelope, we have 10, 25, 27, 29. I'm just going to set this right here. So this is the tracker, the, the um, bill that I'm saving up for at the moment is my cell phone. 
Uh, this is my last one, and then all the rest of the money will be going towards my uh, first month's rent. Um, and so I have three more cell phones to fill in, and then this one will be funded. And so just looking at what we have here, so we're going to put this with this and then see how many, if any, that we could fill out. So each one is worth $20, so we have 10 20 25 30 32 34 35 and 36 so we can fill in one so i'm actually going to i'll put these in the back uh, i'll just put these in the back and then off camera i will fix it so we're going to fill in one and then that tells me that i need 40 dollars more towards the cell phone um, so we have 5, 10, 12, 14, 15, and 16. So next week we'll be able to fill out another one. Um, but in my high yield interest account for this particular um, fund, the cell phone, we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 10, and 20. So 520, we need a total of 560. So I'll put that in there. Next, we're going to be mo moving into the Busy Bee Challenge, uh, using this to save up for vacations. If you're interested in this savings challenge, it's from D over at D vs. Debt. She has a shop on For the Creator. Definitely head over and check that out. All the savings challenges that I use will be linked down in my description box, so please check them out. Um, but today, we are going to be doing another $20, and so... We'll fill out this 20 over here. I am planning a vacation to Florida um, in November. And so we're going to be going to Disney World and all of those um, theme parks with the family. So that's what this is going to be going towards. So we We'll add this, and we now have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. I do have a um, vacation binder that I'll be divvying up this money to, and so I have my flight, my hotel, my transportation, tickets, um, souvenirs, things like that. It's all divided up, so this will go into those accounts, um, or those envelopes, rather, and that's how I keep track of what I have where. Uh, moving on is going to be my Cirque Day Larry. I use this challenge to save up for eight of my nieces and nephews. We're going to finish off this Larry right here and put in six. So each of them will get um, six dollars placed into theirs. So I'm just going to put six aside just as a reminder for me when I go back through that I know that I, I did six um, to put in each of their cash envelopes. Moving on into my syrup savings, this is from, um, let me back up real quick. Uh, Cirque de Larry is from e Leisha over at Hands and Bands. Uh, Larry is kind of become the budgeting community's mascot. He's super cute. Um, head over to Alicia's shop, um, Hands and Bands on Etsy, and she has more um, savings challenges with him and then a whole bunch of other ones. Uh, next, again, my savings my syrup savings this is from autumn over at budgeting after 40 each syrup bottle is worth five dollars once you're finished with this it's 250 dollars and then along with another one that will make up for my thousand dollar emergency fund and so today we're going to be doing ten dollars into this challenge so i'm going to very messily color two bottles um, at the end of last year, I did have my 1000 emergency fund, but at the end of last year, I was uh, really wanted to knock out a bunch of debt um, to get this year going. And so I used that towards my um, debt. So here's the $10. Along with the uh, syrup savings challenge, I'm also doing the 2023 Friday savings challenge. Uh, this is from Simple Shops as well. And so every Friday you put the amount of that date into your envelope or your savings challenge. Um, so today we're going to be doing $17 for this week. Um, if you're on a lower budget and $17 is just too high, then you know you can always just add the two numbers. 
so and then just put an eight you can put these challenges however what fits your budget if you can't do five dollars a week um, for this one then you can split it up and you know do half of the bottle and put you know two dollars in and then the other half you don't have to follow how everybody else is doing their savings challenges make these savings challenge work for you um, however that may be so again i'm going to add the 15 I'm sorry, the 17. So going towards the emergency fund is going to be 10, 25, 27. So let me mark off the 17. So I know that that one is completed. And so in total in our emergency fund, we have 120 30 45 46 47 48 49 50 and 51 so 151 dollars and i will update that challenge or that tracker um, off camera we are going to start the um 654 this is from renee over at reinventing renee um let's see here i still have 5 15 so 2035. Um, so I want to use the prop money first because that's already in my high yield. And these next ones I'm going to use actual my rollover money. So I'm going to move over here. And we're going to do the Mother's Day challenge. That's going to be $10. So every week um, until Mother's Day, I will put in $10 a week uh, and color in the, excuse me, for that airplane that's flying by. Um, if you guys can hear it, it is kind of louder than they normally are. I feel like it's flying awfully low. Um, but there is a small airport down the street from where I live, so that's probably where it's headed to. Um, so anyways, so I am going to color a part of this rose, um, and then that will let me know to f that I, I've completed this one. So I'll color that off camera. And so in our Mother's Day Savings Challenge, we have 20, 40, 50, 60. So $60, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So that's exactly what we should have in there. And then I will, sorry if I'm jumping around, but I just wanna make sure I'm putting the correct money and everything. Um, so this challenge is the 2K challenge. I'm using this because I haven't found a Christmas challenge that I want to use yet, uh, but I want to make sure I'm saving up for Christmas throughout the year. So today I'm going to be putting $25 into here, and that allows me to close this box out. This is from Simple Shops as well. Um, and so if I save the entire challenge, then that will be $2,000 um, because there are some bonus numbers um, that equal the end of it uh, so I'm just going to try and save as much as I can from it if I don't hit the total 2,000 I'm just going to try and work within my budget and not go over what I don't need to go over so we now have 100 120 140 160 170 175 180 185 so 185 185 dollars um, saved up so far for Christmas so while I'm in here, um, so what's left over is my rollover from my cash envelopes from last week. So we're going to start with these two challenges. And so this is my self-care is not selfish. This is for me. Um, I believe that we should be taking care of ourselves first and foremost, um, no matter how small or big it is. Uh, self-care is so Im very important. And it's the one thing that we always put on the back burner is ourselves. And so I am doing the Al Save Challenge, which is worth 125 This is from the Almost Organized Al here on YouTube. Please head over and check out her channel. Um, but today we're going to be doing $10. So I'm going to put $10 in, and I'm just going to color a part of the Al so I know to go back and finish this Al off. 
And then along with that, we're going to do the Spirit Animal Scratcher. This is worth $75. I got this cute challenge from Renee over at Reinventing Renee. So please head over, check her out. She is such an amazing human being. And her shop is so, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, her shop has a lot of um, amazing products. But her challenge, her channel, if I can talk, her channel is, is so much fun to watch. Um, so I'm going to do this guy up here. Sorry if I'm shaking the table. Let's see. So we have six. So we'll do six dollars. Let's get rid of the one that I have. So in total into self-care, we're going to put 10, 15, and 16. Let me bring this back. So in self-care, we have, let me just get it together. Okay. So in total, we have 50, 70, 80, 95, 100, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So $109 in self-care. This is going to go towards whatever I want it as far as um, facials, massages, if I want to go out somewhere, um, do something for myself. That's what this is for. Um, and then next we're going to do our money maker. This is so every week I want to put no more or no less than $10 into my um, stocks. And so my $10 plus whatever I scratch here is how much I'm going to invest. So let's, oh, KD, $22. I was not expecting that number. Um, so it looks like we will be investing $32 this week, which is fine. It's for my future. It's for a good thing. Um, so $32 will go into the Robinhood account. So I have a little piece of paper up here. I'm just going to write, sorry, you guys. $32. Um, so I know that's how much I need to invest. So coming back to our be positive, I do want to start this new challenge. So this is the, uh, again, 654 challenge. This is from Reinventing Renee. And what it is, is the six represents the binder, the five rep represents the envelopes, and the four represents the labels. So you can't get, um, all of them unless you get them in order so i'm going to roll five dice um and then i have to get a six a five and a four um so i'll explain as it goes so i'm going to roll five dice and so i don't have a six even though i have a five and a four i can't use those because i don't have the binder yet so you get three chances three rolls so that's nothing so i need to get a six a five and a four in this last roll or i don't get anything so I didn't get anything, so I'm going to play it again. So you get three rolls. So again, I need a six and then a five and then a four to create my binder because you can't have envelopes without the binder and you can't have labels without your envelopes. So let's try this again. Okay, so I got my six, so I have my binder. So now I need to get my envelopes, which is a five. So now I've got my, my envelopes and I've got my labels. So my last roll, I can either choose to keep this number and that's what I would save is four dollars or I can roll again to see if I can get a higher number I'm going to roll again to get to try and get a higher number so let's see what we got so six and a two so we'll save eight dollars so we're going to put six and two here and that tells me that's going to be eight dollars um I'm going to try again just because it's a new game and I, I just love playing with dice. <laughs> so we're going to roll again. So we don't have a six, so we can't do anything. So we have our six, so we have our binder. So we're going to put this up here. And then we have our five and our four. So that was my third roll, I believe. And so we're going to put uh, two and one, so three aside, and that's how much we're going to save. Hopefully that made sense to everybody. So I'm going to put two and one. So in total, we're going to save six plus two is eight. 
10, 11. So $11. I'm going to put these up to the side. And I don't have a 1, so I'm just going to put in the 10. And then we have 40 left for our other challenges. So I'm going to put a 10 into this one. Um, and I'll just be a dollar short. And this is just, this is where, you know, it's your budget. You decide what you want to do. If you want to put an IOU, if you want to just put what you have, that's totally up to you. There's no wrong way to do all these. This is your challenge, your money, your savings, your journey. You do what, fe you know, what feels good to you. Um, I'm not going to put an IOU for a dollar at this moment. I may change my mind, but for now, we're just going to stick with that. And then we're going to move back over into this binder. We've done Mother's Day and I'm going to do shut the box again. I absolutely love this challenge. This is one of my favorite, most favorite challenges that are out there. Um, I play this off camera. It's just, it's just a really fun game. Um, and so you use two dice and then when you roll the dice, you put you mark off what you get with your dice um, and I'll show you as I move along. So let me move these binders out of the way and then I'll put this to the side so you can see. Okay, so we're going to roll two dice. So we got a four and a one, so we have five. So we can either mark off the five or any two numbers that add up to five. And so let's see, I don't want to use, let's use this one. So let's do, let's just mark, let's get rid of the five. So we're going to color in the five. I know that's a horrible job, but. And then we have a two, so we have to go with the two. So we're going to mark off the two. And you keep rolling until you can't go anymore. So you have 10. So I'm going to do, I can only do nine and one or seven and three. Um, so I'm going to do nine and one to, to get rid of this high number here. And then one. All right. So five and six, or five, I'm sorry, five and one. So that's six. So I can only do the six. So we're going to mark off the six. And you keep going until you can't mark off any other numbers. Um, so we have six and one is seven. So I can either mark off the four and the three or the seven. I am going to knock out this seven. So get rid of that one. So I need an eight, a four, a three, or I can get a seven. Let's see, four, five, six. So I cannot mark off anything else because... Nothing here adds up to six, and I've already marked up that six. So we have to save the eight, the four, and the three. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So $15, I only have 20s. Um, so let's see. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some prop money, and then I'll put this 20 to the side, and that's how I'm going to keep track of what I'm doing. Uh, so what I say, so 8, 12, 15. So I'm going to put 15 towards shut the box. And let's see here. And actually, I can play again. Um, so let's play again. So 5 and 2 is 7. So let's do, let's knock out the 7. So we're going to take out this 7. So we got seven again, so we're going to do, um, let's do five and two. So we're going to knock out this. Hopefully you guys can see the whole screen. So 11, so 9, 10, 11, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we can do the eight and three, right? Six. Yes, so we'll do the eight and three. Eight, 
eight and three. I have messed up the numbers before. <laughs> I'm sure if I do it again today, you guys will let me know. <laughs> so let's see, five and eight. Uh, okay, so six, seven, six, and 10. So I cannot go anymore. Um, so we have to do the nine, the six, the four, and the one. So you have 10, so 20, right? Nine, 10, six, four is 10, so 20. So this 20 is gonna go towards the shut the box. I have $5 left over, so I'm going to stop with shut the box and figure out where I can put that. I have not started these yet. Um, let's see well let's put this away so in total and shut the box we are putting 25 35 so 35 dollars is going towards shut the box this is a new challenge that i'm starting um, along with the 654 so i don't know exactly where they're going to be going but i will figure that out um, before they're even finished i do like to have or to know where my oh sorry where my challenges are going so let's see Hmm. Where do I want to put this five? Well, let's see. Do I want to take my chance? If I go over, then I'll just have an IOU for next week. So that's fine. So we'll start the Bigfoot again. Um, Let's see. I think I'll go down here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was I thought it was the Bigfoot. Okay, so there's two. So we have three. So let's see. Um, let's go here. Okay, so it looks like I'll just have an IOU for two dollars, which is fine. Um, so I'll owe two dollars to Bigfoot. And because I'm gonna owe two dollars, I will just um, owe the other one a dollar too. So three dollars, not too bad. Um, I will write down my IOU off camera. But that is the last of my savings challenges. I thank you so much if you made it this far. Please leave me a purple heart down in the comments to let me know you stayed till the end. Um, I thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys have an amazing week. Continue to be safe. Continue to care for yourselves and be nice to each other. Have a wonderful day. Bye.